G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today I am going to do a fairy flower, but I'm going to try the Octopus Fluid Resin Inks. I don't think I've tried them yet. I, I know I've done them with um, the Dragon Flower, but I don't think I've done them with the fairy flower. So today is the day. Uh, and I'm going to use Smurf, Strawberry and Evergreen. So that's the colours. This is my Smurf. And this is the Strawberry. It's still transparent. And the Evergreen. The red looks a little bit darker than the other shades, but we're going to go with it. I have got my white in here, which is my Bloom. It's... Uh, it's opaque, I would call that one opaque. And then this one here is also the Bloom, but it is quite transparent. Just a few drops of Bloom in there. And then I'm gonna use some of this glitter. It's kind of a tealy kind of a color. I'd like something nice and bright in the center. I can get it out. <laughs> gosh all right might need the other side but now I'm gonna to get too much shan't I there we go Let's see how that goes uh, yeah I can't even remember where I got that from actually but anyway it's just a, a teal kind of a chunky glitter and I'll make that into a paste I don't really don't usually like adding glitters because they fly away but I don't really have any pretty coloured stones. I have ordered some, but I haven't got any at the moment. All right, let's make a start on our dirty paw. And I think I'm going to do just some, some little layers. Not sure how many. We'll just see how they go. Little layers without giving it a swirl. Because when you swirl, they do kind of mix in there. But if I, I figured if I do little layers, then I won't get those huge, big spirals of colour that I really don't like. I'm not even counting the layers here. I'm just pouring them. Like, you know, the resin is going to go down to the bottom and it's going to mix and churn and everything. But I'm pouring it down the side as gently as I can. Except for this now that's going to have to just sort of sit on top. Scrape them out. I will put a link to the octopus fluids down in my description for you. Uh, they're from Homes and Living. So check them out. They're gorgeous colours. They do make alcohol inks and they make resin inks. So there is a difference. So just be careful when you're ordering. Make sure if you want the resin inks that you're getting that and not the alcohol inks or vice versa. I use the alcohol inks um, you know, for my 3D blooms when I want to drop the, drop the drips or drip the drops on top of the resin before I do the bloom. So they are great for that as well. So you could probably get a, a few of each and, and try them out, see what you think. All right. Let's move these out of the way and I am just going to dump, actually there's a lot of green just there, oh, it's still a little bit of a swirl at the end. Look at that, look at those colours, oh, wish I could get those colours in my piece, maybe I will, you just don't know what you're going to get and I don't know how these octopus resin inks are going to behave hopefully they'll behave themselves but I'm not sure how they're going to behave with the art pro resin so the resin I'm using today is the art pro from resin pro and uh, I will link them down in my description um, if you're in Australia I'm sorry you won't be able to buy from their website but other countries you can so I will link that for you just giving that a tap, tap, tap to release any bubbles off the surface of my mould. Now one more stirrer for my white and that's going in my little piping bag. So basically, we're going to do some dots. If you haven't seen this technique before, I'm going to do some dots. 
very similar to how I do my fireworks. When I do my fireworks, it's yeah, very similar with the little dots, um, but a totally different effect. All right. So I'm not waiting for my resin to get warm or get thickened or anything like that. Not with this particular technique. It's just mix it and pour it. All right. Now I'm going to try for a few less rows this time. So see if I can not get my petals too squished. Sometimes I get them really squished. <laughs> now I want to have them more kind of puffy rather than squished if I can so as I'm dropping my hand I'm just squeezing very gently with my thumb just to get that white resin to come out hopefully it will spread and then another row I'm trying to get between the two above but it's not always easy because the middle rows smaller. Doesn't matter. They're all going to get mixed and blended. And row number three. So I've been trying the fairy flower with the Let's Resin one to one resin. It's very thick resin. It just has not been working for me. Uh, I'm not sure if I've actually put that video up or not. I don't know whether you guys like to see my videos that maybe aren't quite, you know, maybe they're a bit of a fail. I don't know whether you want to see them or not, but anyway, um, I don't know if I've put it up, but that was using very similar colours to these. I'm just going to go around the between each of these now. You can see that there's a gap between each, so I'm going to pop a little drop in there. Really enjoying doing this technique it's it's fun to do a bit of a challenge I must say a bit of a challenge got a little bit left there I'm going to do one more row and I'm just going to go in between these just like that sometimes I do way too many rows and I think my petals just get all kind of squished so I'm not going to do that today I'm going to do less is more. And that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay, little torch. Now, I don't know whether I should wait this time, wait for them all to close. Normally I just pour, you know, and it goes swished out and it comes back in again. So, yeah, yeah I don't know. We'll just do it. Regardless of if you wait, it's still going to go back out and then come back in again, isn't it? It's not going to do much different. And then I can put my glitter in the middle. All right, here we go. Now, when you do this, try and pour as forcefully as you can. So get it all to come out and then back in again. So really just dump it as fast as you can. Like so. And hopefully that will work. <laughs> Cleaning up my mess here. I'm just going to wait for it to kind of move in a little bit more and then I'll put my, my glitter in. Hopefully we're going to get some pretty colours. Hopefully, hopefully. Just clean my sticks while I'm waiting. There's no point me putting it on, on a time lapse. It really doesn't take very long and it doesn't change all that much. It's not like the Larimar that goes on and for an hour and changes it's it's not like that at all all righty just finish tidying up here Put the scissors away how's it looking all right it's very dark on the edges isn't it it's almost black I didn't think I had my colours that dark. Wow. <laughs> Go figure. I had them all pretty light, pretty transparent. Okay, let's put some of this in the middle. I guess I could wait maybe half an hour or something before I put it in, but I'm just gonna just gonna do it. Hey, 
you go. In you go. Now don't put too much in because you've got to remember that when it's on its stick here, it's in a big mound. But once it hits the bottom, it kind of flattens out. So probably not too much. Although I don't know what that's looking like in there now because I've just poked it. It's a thing with glitter. It wants to float away. All right, that's it. Well, the colours are looking very pretty. Although it's very dark, isn't it? Very dark on the edges there. I guess maybe it's, is it like a really dark purple? I don't know. It looks very dark though. I have no idea what it's doing in there. I've been getting like big white blobs in the middle. So we'll see. I think it's just the way it is. I mean, I don't know. Micah from resincourses.com, which I will link down below as well for you. When she did the fairy flower, she got a white blob in the middle as well. So I don't know whether it's just the way it is. I mean, I have done some that didn't have the white blob. And do you think I know how I did it? No. <laughs> I've done exactly the same thing. Same resin, same everything. Um, and I get a white blob in the middle. So don't know. If you know, feel free to let me know. All right. Um, we'll just have to wait for this to cure now. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. See you soon. It has cured. Look how dark it looks. Changes quite a bit, doesn't it? Now I can see around the edge we've got some bigger kind of cloudy effects. Look how tiny they are in there. Little tiny, like little tadpoles. And it looks to me as if this section here that middle bit there, like it looks different to out here. Anyway, I don't know. <gasps> okay, it's still really soft. I just got it out of the uh, curing machine. But it is cured. All right. Move that out of the way. Ooh, hot, 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 hot potato, hot potato. Um, it's been in there at about 50 degrees Celsius. So not too bad. All right, without further ado, I really hope this has worked this time. Oh, please work. Oh, it's so pretty. Not really a fairy flower because we haven't got those little tiny petals, but the colours, you guys, the colours have stayed nice and bright because I haven't used so much white this time. My center's a bit big. I told you that when it, you drop it down, it goes, it spreads, but it's okay. I don't mind it. That blue there picks up that blue around the edge. My colors are blended okay. I've got a bit of blue there, some blue there, some blue there, some green there, bit of green there, bit of the red there, bit of the red there. I think the blending's quite nice on this one. I don't like it when it's like a big, big swirl so there you go well see that's the difference let me go and grab one of the others let me just go and grab that so just in case you're not sure what I'm talking about so this one here we've got the edge there you can see the edge and then in the middle we've got kind of puffy puffy things <laughs> I wouldn't really call them petals now this is what happens if you don't have a lot of white pigment paste in the white that you're dotting and also in the white that you're pouring over the end. So about half the amount of drops. Now, if you have lots of drops of white, more pigmented, heavier, you get this kind of look, which I guess is more of a traditional fairy where you get that outer edge like that. And then you get those really tiny little petals kind of all smooshed together in there. But the colours, I find the colours are really muted because you've added a lot of white. I mean, it makes sense, hey. So this one here hasn't got as much white in it, so the colours aren't as muted, but we've got the bigger petals in the centre. This one, the colours are more muted, more pastel -y, definitely more white was used in that one. So that's the difference. They're both really pretty. They are. It just, um, I was going for like more brighter colours, like this one, 
but then like you know I've lost my petals so yeah I don't think you can get both you either get this one or you get that one depending on how much white you use so it's an interesting thing depending on which you like the look of anyway let's go for a little walk with this one and have a closer look at it hey because I do like the colors let's move my little step out of the way okay come up here come up here away from those bright lights almost looks as if it's glowing see I love the intensity of the colors that's the only thing I don't like about putting so much white in to make it heavy to make the tiny petals is that you lose that gorgeous intensity of the colors really pretty look at the edges pretty edges very nice I do like it all right we'll just walk around here walk around the studio <laughs> oh gosh I've got all kinds of things sitting on my bench here old old paws sitting on my bench looking for <laughs> looking for a home <laughs> looking for somewhere to go oh gosh I need a bigger studio <laughs> I might have just build it I need a bigger studio no um so there you go anyway there's the um look at the center how it's sparkling it's going green to blue and I think it really picks up the colors of the green and blue in the actual resin it's so pretty love it but I think now that I've I've experimented enough um this this one that was the one you know that I Oops, upside down that was the one where I was trying to get these same colors well the intensity of the colors but I've added a green um, that was the let's resin resin so I ended up with a really big white blob in the center of that one because it was just a very thick resin whereas with this one I haven't really got the big white blob in the middle I mean I've got a lot of I've got a lot of glitter in the center but yeah not the big white blob so which I covered with a sticker on the other one <laughs> so there you go all right well hopefully um you've been learning something along the lines with me as I've been experimenting with fairy flowers and different resins I do have another resin that I want to try um the ultra cast works really quite well very very similar to the resin pro and um, the art pro um just resin didn't work it was way too thick the art pro there it worked really well the transparente this one i haven't used it yet um, i'll be using that next the ultra clear it's very thin I had to wait for it to thicken up before I could use it um, but I am waiting for another one I'm waiting for a super clear which is a little bit thicker um, the let's resin worked for my dragon flower didn't work for the fairy flower so yeah that's it but I will be trying with the transparente if that's how you pronounce it transparente something like that there's, there's some resin it's just there's just a bit of resin <laughs> okay I'm kind of addicted <laughs> somebody stop me all right here we go back to this one it looks very dark just there doesn't it always looks very dark with um with the lights shining on it there all right so there it is and um yep I think I'm done with experimenting I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna use these same colors um, and try the transparente if that's how you pronounce it and um, and see how we go with that and maybe get back to the art pro with my normal amount of white pigment paste which is about double the amount of drops to get this one so that's half the amount of drops well this is the right amount of drops the full amount of drops as per the resin course um, they tell you how many drops of white to use this one was like half the amount so you get a different look all right I've got to finish my coffee <laughs> I'll see you all again real soon for the next video okay okay take care guys bye for now